Hello everyone, welcome to another video on jurisprudence. Today we are going to see about the philosophical school of law, also known as natural law. So let's straight away go because it's a short video. I got to give you as much as information as possible for you guys to know about the philosophical school. As I said earlier, it is a branch of natural law and it focuses on the morals good and bad and it is based on the laws of the nature when i say the laws of the nature it's not the scientific principles that i am talking it's about a uh, basic nature of an organism for instance if we take human being human being has certain basic nature they need to breathe they need to reproduce they need to eat and they need to socialize to survive survive so all these basic needs so it is all based on this basic nature of a particular organism and in this instant it's the human beings now who are the key thinkers of this school the key thinkers as you know natural law has a very big historical significance so the key thinkers we know it's from the Greeks, Aristotle, the Stoics, the Romans and then comes St. Thomas Aquino, a very important person. He is the authority in nat uh, natural law thinking. He brought together a lot of divine co components, especially the Christian thoughts with the Aristotle's ideas. And uh, furthermore, we, we move on to the in later part of the 16th century when Hobbes and Locke with their social contract theory uh, contributed enormously to the uh, natural law and then came Descartes, Rousey, Kant. So natural law had a very great influence and these are the key thinkers of the natural law philosophy. Now what is basic, what is the basic philosophy of natural law? It is grounded on the human nature and it believes that human beings are rational and identify good and bad. That is the morals. Now, this law is not made by any sovereign. It's not made by the humans or anything. It is given to us. It is inherent in us. So that is what this natural law is about. That's why it focuses more on the good and bad, otherwise called as morals. So that's it for the natural laws. I'll see you guys in another video for a more understanding of the jurisprudence. Thank you.